Hello, this is Sarah and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a giant paper butterfly perfect to pair with giant paper flowers. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel below and like this video. All the materials will be linked below the video along with the template for Cricut, Silhouette, or other cutting machines. First, you'll need foil, enough to roll up for the body of the butterfly, about 1.5 inches in width and 4 to 5 inches in length. You could also make these smaller using the same template for the small regular butterfly tutorial I'll be linking below. Then take two floral wire and cross over in the middle and the top will be for the antennas and the bottom will be going around the body and will be for one pair of legs. Then take one floral wire and wrap around the body and we'll use this for another pair of legs and another floral wire for another pair of legs. We'll have a total of six legs and two antennas. The last floral wire will be wrapped around the body but make them go on top of the body and this will be where the wings will be connected. Next, take masking tape and tape the whole foil body, leaving the bottom for the legs to come out, the front for the antennas, and the top of the wings. Then get matte Mod Podge and cover the whole masking taped area and then take black tissue paper and add that to the body. Make sure to add Mod Podge on top of the tape and on top of the black tissue paper. The floral wire I used was a dark green and it looked dark enough for the legs and you can't tell when you pair it with a giant paper flower but if you want to make sure you could also paint the wire or cover the wire with black tissue paper and Mod Podge or make sure to find black wire to begin with and do this before we move on to the next step. Then cut a small oval black felt and glue that on top of the body where the wings will be. This is a small detail that I felt the real butterflies had a fuzzy area on the body on top. Next, cut all your pieces. The template was meant for the small butterfly, but I wanted to try making them big, so I just adjusted the size for everything to fit a whole letter size paper per wing. So I grabbed all the pieces together and adjusted the size so the black parts of the wing fits on a letter size paper. It comes out to be about 8 inches in height for the black piece, but you want to do this linked together to all the pieces so the sizes are being adjusted together. Then go in order like mine in this video. Start gluing the black pattern and I use this white glue that I'll be linking below where it has a fine tip so it makes it easy to glue all the areas in between the pattern. Then attach it to the orange piece and make sure it's the right side. Then glue the rest of the black and attach it to the white piece. Then add the bottom part of the wing. Thank you. 
Do the same thing to the other side of the wing. Go in the same order. You should have the left and right wing done, but we'll be doing the same thing to the back side of the wing, so you will need another pair of the black pattern and orange pattern. You'll have to go in this order first. Attach the black pattern for the top side onto the orange piece, and both for the left and right wing. Then before going on to the bottom black pattern, we will now attach the finished left and right wing to the floral wire on the top side of the body. Start with the right side and add enough glue where the floral wire is and the back side pattern. Then add the top black pattern with the orange pattern first onto the other side of the white piece. Then finish off the right side and add the bottom black pattern. Then finish the same thing to the left wing. You could also shape the wing by slightly curving the top of the wing. And you could also adjust the wing with the floral wire and make the wings go up. And you could also leave the wings flattened. They are going to pair so well with giant paper flowers that I'll be linking below. Please like this video below and subscribe. Thank you for watching.